Okay, continue. Quick! Cut the comm! Jump to warp! What do you mean we don't have warp drive yet? Get it going! Now! Uh, yeah. Uh, you forgot to cut the comm. Wait, can they still hear me? Yes, yes we can! What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so I know this is a completely opposite franchise, but I hope you guys are having a great May 4th. So, may the 4th be with you, and all of that. Also, uh, I, since I do believe this is coming out on May 4th, I do record ahead of time, so... I do my scheduling as well since it's May 4th I should be getting married today because uh, yeah we, uh, we were planning to get married for May 4th because uh, man I mean we both want to have our anniversary be like Star Wars Day so yeah we're geeks you're welcome all right anyway today's episode we have Operation Gamma so let's go ahead and hail to uh, get this thing started Karakhan's ships are guarding the wormhole, so access is limited. A small craft like a shuttle or fighter might be able to slip through the blockade, so leave your starship here at Bajor. Commander Samuel Winters is here, and he's one of the best shuttle pilots I know. I recommend you bring him along. The war is over, but Loris and Karakhan won't believe it unless they hear it from someone they trust. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting. It looked like it skipped part of the beginning parts there. Uh, anyway, yeah, we have to, uh, take a shuttle and go into the Gamma Quadrant, so report to Deep Space Nine and enter the Bajoran Wormhole. Let's go ahead and accept. Very nice, and we are already at Deep Space Nine, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Alright, we have arrived for Operation Gamma. Okay, Captain, the only way we can enter the wormhole without setting off DS9 defenses is to disable the station's sensor clusters. If we do that, we'll blind ops. If someone's looking out a window, uh, window, they'll see the wormhole open, but we'll be long gone before they have a chance to scramble ships to stop us. Alright, but to disable the station's sensor clusters, first we have to find a way around the Jemadar ships patrolling near them. Okay, yep, this is a fun part, because we cannot take on Jem'Hadar ships in our tiny little shuttle. Captain Kirkland is ready to use the fleet as a diversion. On our signal, they'll move in and engage the Jem'Hadar ships. They will give us a chance to get to DS9, disable the sensor clusters, and escape through the wormhole. The fleet is ready to move in on your signal, sir. Alright, signal the fleet. Let's move out. All right, so yeah, this is a, a fun thing we have going on here. Where's the rest of the fleet? I want to make sure that they get in there first, or that they draw away the Jem'Hadar, so that we can go in there and get those sensor clusters, which can kind of be a pain, because there's a lot of things that activate that you have to take care of and shoot while getting the clusters in the right amount of time. But you guys will see that very, very shortly here. We're going to start to approach the station in our tiny little shuttle that uh yeah doesn't have a lot that it can handle all right so i hope you guys are having a great day my day is going quite well and i hope you're enjoying star trek online okay let's see here we're almost at sensor cluster alpha and those guys are plenty of space away so we should be perfectly fine Okay, sensor cluster analysis. Captain, we need to disable the sensor clusters in a specific order. Look for the alpha cluster first, then beta, and so on. Loris will order fighters and work bees to respond as soon as we disable the first sensor cluster. They'll try to repair the sensor clusters, and if they succeed, we'll have to restart the process. I suggest we target and destroy the worker bees before they can. Uh, that can happen. Alright, very, very good. So... 
We have to get a little bit closer, I guess. That's why I meant is like uh, you have the sensor bees that come out and you have to shoot them. And then, yeah, to make sure that they don't repair things. Jem'Hadar fighter. Uh, okay. I got to get the worker bee here. Target him first. So that he can't get any work done. And just kind of try and ignore the other ships for the moment. Alright, yep, I understand. Try to get the guys away from our shield there. So that we uh, won't have a problem. Alright, worker bee destroyed. Going for that fighter now. Oh, nothing like fighting a Jem'Hadar fighter in a shuttle. Okay, we have done it. We have taken care of it. Let's move on to Sensor Cluster Beta, where we have to do the same thing over again. All right, let's see. Worker Bee, where are you? Where's the Worker Bee? Okay, there isn't one for the moment, so let's move on to Gamma. Okay, there's a fighter. Okay, here's a worker bee right there. Hi, Chihuahua. We're having issues with our stuff and our things. Yep, don't let our shields fail here. Let's just do circles. Good, good, good. We have done it. Oh, there's another worker bee over back at Alpha, I believe. We have done it. Yeah. Looks like none of them went to the Gamma so side. So that is very, very nice. Have we done it? Is there another one? Are we good? Hello? Let's see... Uh, flying blind. Okay, looks like we have done it. We're just waiting for the next pop-up where we have to go next. So... Let's see... Flying blind. Disable DS9 sensor clusters. Okay, we have done that. What's going on here? All right, is there? I don't remember anything beyond being on top of the station. I'm pretty sure we got all the sensor clusters, unless something has happened. Okay, let's see. All right, make sure we're away from that big fight. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna bring you guys back when I figure this out. So I'll be right back. All right, looks like there is a Jem'Hadar fighter stuck to the side of the building here. So that might be what we have to do to finish this off here. Let's hope. Just gonna do circles around him. He is stuck against the wall, so it makes it nice and easy to hit him. And hope that the uh, other fleet doesn't uh, start shooting at us, because there's a dreadnought Oh crap! Don't shoot at the nope, nope. Stop shooting at the dreadnought. Uh, get out of the way. Get out. Of, get out of the range. Nope. Stop it. Get away. Okay, we've got away. So what now? Okay, now we have sensor cluster data to get to, since we finally took out that guy who was stuck. So we can move on to the next one here. All right, disable sensor cluster delta. Delta. Epsilon, and there should be a fight, I'm guessing. Is there a fight? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, okay, we want to get the worker bees, though. I don't know why that came up. Ouch, we are being bombarded. All right, let's try and get these worker bees very, very quickly. There's another one biting the dust, and here's the other one. We should hopefully be able to take care of this in time. Oh, nope, that's not what I've been trying to shoot at. Kill the worker bee. Destroy, destroy. Surge and destroy. Okay, we got it. Let's try and get these Gemini fighters before they get us. Alright. We got that one. Like so. All right, we have done it. We have taken out that guy, which should be everyone, I hope. 
Let's see, there's still something. Okay, that disappeared. So, is everything done? Okay, disable sensor cluster Zeta. Uh, Zeta. Hopefully, that's the last one. Alright, uh, defeat Jem'Hadar attack ship. Okay. The Jem'Hadar ship is on an intercept course, sir. Yay! Shields and weapons are at full, Captain. Ready to engage. Okay, prepare for engagement. Prepare for assimilation. Okay, we've got it. At least our shields have uh, had a chance to replenish themselves. Kill, kill, kill. Search and destroy. Okay, we took out their shields, which is a good, good thing. Let's try and speed up a bit. Excuse me. Okay, I think I'm running into the wall. What's going on? Uh, 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 I'm stuck on a pylon. Okay, there we go. We have gotten off of it now. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, that did a good amount of damage to him. It was a critical hit. Alright, let's see. One more torpedo. Okay, it hit him on the wrong shielded side. So he didn't really take any damage. Good times, though. We are doing it. We are making magic happen. And fire. Aye. Okay, very close. 5%. And he just LOS'd us there. We have done it. We have taken him out for a nice meal. His last meal, in fact. All right, so use the wormhole. Great job, sir. Communications coming in from the fleet, sir. We're preparing to break off and warp to safety. We should enter the wormhole as soon as possible. All right, use the wormhole. Use it. Okay. Goodbye, DS9. Setting the course for the wormhole now. Okay. Good. Welcome. Let's go to the Elder Quadrant. We'll be halfway to the Gamma Quadrant before oh, gamma the quadrant. Yeah, know what yeah, happened. Yeah, that one. Wrong series. Wow, that's some view. This is my first trip into the wormhole. Thanks for letting me tag along. Yeah, no Captain problem. Captain Curlin says there's a traitor in the Idrin system who knows how to contact the Dominion. She's probably our best chance for finding them quickly. But Curlin says Farek's help won't come cheap. We need to be ready to negotiate with her. When we're out of the wormhole, we should start searching for Farek's vessel. All right, will do. Okay, we have arrived. Our intel said that Farek's ship would be here, but there's nothing on scanners. However, someone has dropped a nav marker in this area. I suggest we set a course for it and do a scan of all nearby systems. Reach the navigation beacon and scan for rock for Farak ship. Okay, continue. Let's see, we have to go straight ahead somewhere? Over here. Okay, there it is, bl uh, blinking. Like so. And getting closer. Stay on target. Okay, we're almost there. All right, what now? I'm picking up a ship on long-range sensors, Captain. The configuration matches Farek's ship, sir, but I'm detecting damage to several systems. There's no response to a hail, sir, but her communications array might be damaged. Well, that's not good. Setting a course to the ship's coordinates now. Okay, you do that. Warp to the next system. To infinity and beyond. Okay, the next, the next system, the Edrin system. Ooh, lots of uh, meteors here. Rock ship is inside that large asteroid, Captain. But the entrance is shielded. We need to destroy the shield generator and then enter the asteroid. Continue. All right. Sensors show that this area is teeming with. A life form that I have never seen before, sir. That may be why Farak has sealed herself inside the asteroid. The Cosmosins are hostile, and I think they could be dangerous to a ship of this size. However, they're not actively hunting. If we try to keep a safe distance, perhaps they won't bother us. Alright, destroy the shield generator. 
Let's do it! Destroy it! And at least the uh, shield generator shouldn't shoot back, so we just sit here and uh, shoot at it until it blows up, which should be right about... Oh, okay, very close. And now it should. Destroyed! Oh yeah! Yay! Enter the donut! We are entering the donut hole right now. Oh, okay, slow down. Don't crash into walls. We don't want to come all this way just to uh, blow up on the side of a rock. Okay, go this way. As we see that she's over here. Hail the Kraken. I can hear profit okay. in the wind, and the wind is blowing. Well, you are a Ferengi, after all. If you want it, I've got it. Are you Ferek? Well, we, we, we know that. We don't really have to ask. Uh, what happened to your ship? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing, really. Nothing you need to be concerned about. You just can't make some customers happy. Okay. Time Sounds... is money. Yeah, being a Frankie, you uh, don't tend to uh, make people happy very often, huh? Why are you in the Gamma Quadrant? Let's see, let's just try to move on here. What would you want uh, for the Dominion information? I'll give it to you straight. Intel about the Dominion is hard to acquire, and therefore extremely valuable. You don't have a cargo hold big enough for all the latinum I'd want in exchange for the data. But I'm willing to consider an alternative method of payment. You see that planetoid over there? I have a limited amount of time to collect everything valuable from it that I can. And as you can see, my ship could use some repairs. While my crew and I work on fixing this baby up, I could use some help with the salvage. Okay. So, here's the deal. You get me something I can turn a profit with, and I'll tell you where you can find the Dominion. Okay, very, very good. So, continue. And, let's see, Farrakh wants us to uh, decavitate several automated defense satellites uh, surrounding the planet. To do so, we need to scan each satellite to determine the best way to deactivate them safely. I have analyzed the types of devices we are likely to encounter and create a tactical scan analysis that should help us during the deactivation pro process. All right, tactical deactivate defense satellites. Okay, very, very good. So, usually what I will do here is I'll do something like pull up my phone and take a little picture of the screen so that I know what uh, what things have to be done when the satellites pop up with it. So I just took a little excuse me, a little snap there of it so that we can uh, make sure to do things correctly because if you don't it does uh, activate defenses, which I mean we can easily destroy, but it's uh, easier just to not have to worry about it. So let's uh, get things moving here and head out of the Asteroid moving nice and quickly. Oh, we got to turn get away from those things. We don't want to uh, Get them all activated here and Agitated as well All right, very good and We have arrived Deactivate the satellite gotta get everything ready here. So I'm trying to remember how this comes up Okay, uh, not sure what's going on. Did it say something? I don't see it saying anything. Uh, yeah, it didn't say what type of... Oh, active en enemy detection is uh, deactivate sensors. Can we do it in time? All right, the satellite is stable, sir. We can keep going. Active en enemy detection, which is de uh, deactivate sensor battery again. Okay, we destroyed all those things in one shot. What's going on? Okay. Uh, okay. Up oh, there's another one up there. 
Gotcha. Did we not? Okay, we didn't deactivate it. I guess those guys came in to say hello. So let's try again here. All right, active sensors, which is Can't you move any faster? remove iconic core done, or ionic core. Is empty. Okay, yeah, shush. Shush your friendly mouth. Active sensors, which is remove ionic core. Okay, yep, we have more of them again. What's going on? I know I'm doing this correct unless it's showing the wrong things here. Why, why, why? Okay, deactivate satellite. Okay, take that item and yeah, deactivate satellites. Bucket of bolts you're flying, have an impulse drive? I need that salvage! Oh, come on, stop. These guys keep attacking us. Uh, active sensors, which is remove ionic core, power core. Oh, there's two things. So, remove ionic core, and then it is deactivate sensor batteries. Deactivate sensor batteries. There we go. I was doing it wrong. There's two different sides to it. That's why we activated their sensors we have the materials for rock wanted sir all right so we can move on to the next one now which is let's see that direction like so okay let's see is this the right one nope it's a lot further away oh crap let's try to stay this direction because there's a bunch of those things over there good 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 Nice and far trip, speeding along at maximum speed. Okay, slow down and stop. Deactivate satellite. Okay, what do we have for the next one here? It is active sensors, which is remove ionic core. And then it's uh, deactivate sensor batteries. Uh, deactivate sensor battery. Good, good, good. Salvage complete, Captain. Transporting the materials now. Alright, it's still showing up here, but, yeah, anyway. Let's see. There's that one. Over there, so we will come out this direction and do a little bit of a loop around these guys so we don't Enrage them a little bit. Alright. Very, very nice. We have half of them done. We just gotta move on to the next ones now. And we will be good to go. Alright. It's pretty easy when you uh, make sure to take a picture of what you need to do for them. And as long as you remember that you're supposed to do uh, two different things. Or whichever one pops up. So deactivate satellite. What do we got for this one? Is it going to be the same again? Alright, active sensors. So, remove ionic core. It's funny, we're getting all the same ones. Which is rare. Usually I've had them, different things come out. So, deactivate sensor battery. That one's, whoa, this is moving really quickly. So, we got to hurry. Alright, salvage mission complete, or successful, sir. Ready to move on. Let's do it. Okay. Keeping an eye on our map here so we don't get within the range of... Of all these uh, bad guys. Okay, good, good, good. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. It is definitely an interesting one. And I knew exactly what we were going to be doing here. So I was like, oh, this is a fun mission. I knew that sometimes it can take a while. So I was hoping that it won't be too long of an episode for you. But sometimes that will happen when you have gameplay for MMOs. That, uh, your missions will take a while. Okay. Deactivate satellite. Where is it? I uh, gotta keep... Okay, there he is. Deactivate satellite. We want to be able to make sure we can see it so we know what we need to do. Active sensors. Hey, look at that. Lucky us. We're getting the same thing for all of them now. Okay. Did I do that wrong? I might have done something incorrect if they're here and fighting us. Okay, anyway, let's uh, try it again. Not that big of a problem. Deactivate satellite. 
And what do we got now? Active sa uh, active satellite. Use. Okay, I, I need yep, that uh, quantum scan. I was looking at the wrong thing. It's quantum. It's active satellite, not active sensors. And then we need remove ionic power core, or ionic core. There we go. Yep. Good, good, good. And we have done it, Captain. We received a hail from Farak. She says she has what she needs and that we should get our tail back to her ship before she loses any more profit. Return to Farak. Alright, I will head over there and uh, come back to you guys when we get back. Alright. Alright, we are back and let's hail the uh, Krennic. If you want it, I've got it. Okay, I have what you asked for. That's great. Nice doing business with you. I'll just verify the transport and then I'll contact my friend. The very important Vorta. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you with whatever you need. Okay, continue. Quick! Cut the comm! Jump to warp! What do you mean we don't have warp drive yet? Get it going! Now! Uh, yeah. Uh, you forgot to cut the comm. Wait, can they still hear me? Yes, yes we can. You know the funny thing about resonance pulses? They drive the swarmers crazy. Well, awesome. All right, Captain, Farak's vessel emitted a resonance pulse before she warped away. It's enraged the swarmers. We won't be able to engage warp engines until we take care of them. Defeat the Idrin swarmers. Okay, let's do it. There's... Uh, okay, let's go this direction. We have to defeat three groups of them, it would appear. Just head out in this way right now. Okay, so many things to fight. It is a lot of fun. At least they uh, only take one hit to kill these guys. But they do swarm all over the place. Let's activate that. Let's activate different abilities here just do uh, circles like this and we should take them out look at that we're doing it and look at all the uh, crazy loot that we're getting okay Pretty good another one bites a die Alright, I think this whole group was just one group here of them. Alright, and have we done it? Nope, there's still a couple more. One there. And he is the last of them, so let's head over to this group now. Alright, we can't speed up yet. Oh, hello. Hello, guys. Welcome to the party. Uh, be destroyed. All right, let's. All right, since we're still showing in combat, we can't go to full impulse yet. Waiting. All right, I have a lock on her warp. Oh, we already did it. Okay, I have a lock on her warp signature, Captain. Farak's ship is still damaged, sir, and her maximum speed is warp three. We should be able to catch up to her easily. All right, follow Farak's ship. Let's do it. All right, we have arrived. The Idrin system. Didn't even have a loading screen there. Frock didn't lie about knowing how to find the Dominion, sir. Her ship is surrounded by Jem'Hadar. I wouldn't say they're on good terms, though. Frock's ship is damaged again. Uh, if they've detected us, they're not making any hostile moves our direction. Recommend we approach and see if they want to talk. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and approach them then and see if they want to talk. Or if they want to fight. Farak's ship has life support and engines, sir, but that's about it. Shields are failing, and she only has limited alive. weapons. The lead Jim Hadar vessel is hailing us, sir. Putting it on screen now. Okay. Ah, so the representatives of the Alpha Quadrant finally make their way to seek aid from the Dominion. We have been expecting you. I bet According you have. to our information, you're having a slight occupation problem on Deep Space Nine. 
Yep, I a little bit. might be able to assist you with that problem. I if hope you so. have come here in friendship. And as we all know, friends help one another. You can start by destroying this nuisance and her ship. She has intruded into the Gamma Quadrant without permission and is conducting unauthorized salvage operations in our space. The penalty for this is clear. By all rights, we should execute you as well. But I am willing to overlook your involvement this time. Well, thank you. So, as the Ferengi would say, do we have a deal? Well, we are Starfleet and a, uh, a, uh, Vulcan, so probably we not something we would friends, do. We are right? Hey there, friend. We, okay, yeah, it just skipped that part. Anyway, continue. I, I'm in a bit of a spot here. Got any help for your old pal, Farrick? Let's see, we can lock weapons on frag ship or open a channel to frag ship. Hey friend, look, I found the Dominion for you. Yeah, I see that. Y you have to help me, they're crazy. I know. Okay, okay, I'll go. I'll go back to the Alpha Quadrant, I'll refund their latinum. I'll even give them what's left of my cargo holds, just don't let them kill me. And that resonance pulse, <laughs> funny, huh? I knew those little suckers couldn't really hurt you. Sure. Sure. Yeah, they are pretty easy. Anyway, continue. If you let me go, I know Iran won't hunt me down again. He's got too many other problems to worry about a small timer like me. Just please let me go. Okay, go while you still can, Farak. They have zoomed out. All right, let's hail the Jemadar. You come seeking my aid, and then refuse a simple request? This is not an auspicious start. <sighs> Nevertheless, you have something I want, and I have something you need. The only okay. logical conclusion is cooperation. Yes, cooperation. I will return to the Alpha Quadrant with you, and render whatever assistance I can. Okay, good. Hmm. There is a price, though. Of course there is. For more than 30 years, Starfleet has held one of the founders as a prisoner of war. Hmm, I wonder which Imagine one. Imagine the hubris it takes to contain a god. The arrogance. Okay. When the founder is returned to me, you will have the Dominion's complete cooperation. And my guarantee that Karukan and his fleet will not trouble Deep Space Nine again. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's do it. We have completed Operation Gamma. Let's go ahead and leave the Gamma Quadrant. All right, we are back in sector space, and let's report to Commander... Apache for, uh, to end the mission. Alright, congratulations on a successful mission, Admiral. Starfleet Intelligence is speaking to Euron now. He's being quite cooperative for Evorta, and I'm confident that we will be able to come to an agreement that is best for everyone. We must have DS9 back. Uh, we would like to retake the station without additional bloodshed. Euron may be able to, uh, may be our only hope of doing that. All right, so we get the usual type of stuff, and we have a choice of uh, some things here for our ships. This is for a shuttle, and then we have Jemadar Combat Impulse Engines, the Jemadar Deflector Dish. Let's see, what would be best? We're going to go with the Combat Impulse Engine because it's for combat. It has a plus 2.5 for weapon power and 2.5 additional weapon power so it's very nice for uh, a tactical officer. We're gonna go do that and collect reward. Congratulations. We have done it. We have leveled up to uh, Rear Admiral, lower half level 44. Very, very good. Uh, what is this? I've been following your career closely, Admiral Bagel. Please come speak with me when you get a moment. Admiral Devok can be found in the Omega Force Pavilion on DS9. 
Okay. Well, thank you. Thank Federation you. Council nope, nope. has that's, authorized. That's, that's for the next episode, which is a very fun one. I hope you guys are excited for it. It's a facility something or another, a Federation prison. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Star Trek Online. Don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. As always, don't forget to live long and prosper!